Ehi, passa che non avete più. Non forget to video, non forget to click the like button, subscribe and share this video. Come vedete, do only hit that 1k subscriber thing. So, if you haven't already, subscribe, subscribe, subscribe. Please, I really, because I really do want to get that 1k subscribers. So, a couple of days ago, I put a, a poll on my Instagram about like, what one should I do, because the choice of art about Kababish. Nando's or actually the like Costco like pizza so and the one with the most majority of votes won and which was actually the Nando's which is why today's video will be on Nando's so the location of this Nando's is actually called in Croydon Valley Way which is actually a large and to like the way around is like Nowhere is basically pretty much next to Ikea because there's two locations nearby which is like one which is actually pretty much near Costco, more nearer to Costco which is like on that side which has like food, which is our food, used to have food court and stuff which is like but this, that Nando is actually new and there's this one which is actually caught like in Valley Way which is opposite nearer to Ikea which is actually because you want to go to this one which is actually halal not the other one that one's not halal and around that one this halal one has actually got like got proper car park and got like stuff like cream it's got like a, a furniture store it's got the gym and they've got like even opposite as well more car park as well with other stuff like more furniture places and you know, home stuff, stuff like that. So the new uh, stuff that they've actually changed a lot because like obviously because of you know, lockdown and then we had like you know, because of Covid so to stick with, because you know how like obviously you get the rule now like they're allowed to eat in and stuff well to not just abide by the rules but they also they changed a bit so it's like not just the restaurant changed but also the whole like Keep it with the lockdown, like keep it with the you know, restrictions and like making sure as well that they have like you know social distancing and sanitizing and stuff like that. So what they've done is they changed inside the restaurant. So it's like the new, one of the new things is that like um, on no when you go inside, you have like you have now instead of when you go in, you have like there they tell you it's actually. Like where I am for example like now like in the middle there they tell you say whether you're like you know for collection or for, like eating and then on the like if you're doing takeaway for example like it's like um, on the left side where it's usually supposed to be the where you can actually have like seating instead it's changed like having like the takeaway side so where they put the food inside the bag and then they go to that side and put not just your seat but also what like, what it is for example like the flavor it is and then, like i said on this side you have like not just the seats but some of the seats have been taken out and changed to abide by the rules of social distancing as well and then uh, but now one of the new things as well is like uh, if you're if you're doing eating you have to do like the first come first serve thing where you have to like order online and if you're, if you're like as a book online basically you'll see it and, and then it closes about the seating and closes about I think half nine so and then they can do like you know take away but the takeaway for the pickup only one person can stay inside one others have to like go outside you know to start distancing and stuff as well but the food and drinks and obviously the prices like the food basically everything is like pretty much the same as like the food wise as well like everything like normal as you would as you would do in like pretty much any nando's like the obviously chicken obviously because that's like pear chicken and obviously that's the same flavors and same food and veggie stuff as well and obviously the drinks are exactly the same and as in like the pepsi and stuff like that and even the actual like the prices are pretty much like like the same thing as well like as you would do like you know, like all together or individually or something 
for my slack say, you know, as you would, because if you've been to Nando's, then you know, any Nando's, then obviously you'll know. But they do actually have some like new stuff as well, like some vegan stuff that they've recently added as well, which is sort of like, you know how when you have like, for example, when you had like vegan area and stuff, so you had like vegan alternatives to this sort, of, this sort of thing, like for example, like Greg's, the vegan sausage roll, or at the Subway, the meatball sub, which is like a vegan meatball sub, which is like, it's like that, so it's sort of like a vegan alternative to it. It's exactly like the same way they have that, where it's like, it's obviously, even if you're not, so like for example, if you go to like a non halal one, then that's kind of good that like you can go with people who obviously, if you go with people who actually do eat meat and stuff, and that place, for example, is not halal, then you can still have like, still eat it, still having like, I mean, the boring veggie thing because I had it once, it's not that nice, but there's like a new vegan one, you have like that, so which is apparently it tastes exactly the same as like as you would like with normal chicken, just more like healthier and more exactly the same, just vegan. So they've got that, it's good. So it's got so it's good to have vegan options and vegetarian as well. That's good. Now let's talk about my experience. Uh, basically I went last week, I think coincidentally enough it was actually was I think this time last week like as in last Wednesday because uh, I went outside of my dentist as well like and obviously went Costco and then we went there and it was still like it was quite still quite even at Costco it was still quite busy as well and at the actual like even at the time that we went for Nando it was actually still quite busy as well and obviously you know how not just Croydon but how London is like how mad it is and how busy and you've got like those stupid drivers as well yeah well we ordered like obviously because so she did the same thing so we instead of eating in as well we decided to to take away so we take it back here to Crawley so we um ordered online and then when, when we went it was actually still like I said still quite busy in the car park as well we managed to find like a space as well but you have to be very very careful because you've got Obviously, as always, even now, which is, I don't know why, that sh those stupid traffic wardens was like, bro, at that time, it shouldn't even be any traffic wardens. Not to mention the fact that sh there shouldn't be traffic wardens in the first place. Like, why the hell would you want to be that? It's kind of stupid as well. But anyway, yeah, we uh, went there because uh, they changed. But we found out that because we've been there for after, like, because last time I went was actually way before like, lockdown and before COVID, so. Then when we got there and that's when we found out about like obviously the new stuff that had changed and the fact that only one person can, if you didn't take away, only one person can stay inside to collect it, one, the other, everyone else outside or wait in your car as well and about the waiting area as well and they said oh because we're still at wait ages because it's a little bit busy as well but even though I didn't see it but you know how it is and we found out that actually the one that we ended up ordering was the wrong one. It ended up being, I think, pearly way or whatever, like, ended up being the one that's actually, obviously, uh, Costco, not this one, which is actually halal, what the other one, like I said, it isn't. So, the one you had to order to is actually called, I think, it says pearly way, but like, obviously you'll know what it's called, like, it's at the, it's at the beginning of the video, so, got valley way or something like that, but, very confusing but yeah so it's it uh, ended up having our order cancelled i'm not sure if we got our money back but if we didn't then that's just a rip off that's just a waste of money that's stupid but still like we had to order again and then they decided to get exactly the same thing and uh so then obviously we, we finally got that and we got it for free so that's good uh, instead of that because we already technically paid for it but yeah and then we took it home and the thing that I got was I got chicken wrap but plain because I don't like spicy things and with chips because so the thing that says you can get like can obviously you know like we do online order you can either add stuff or you can take some stuff out but I actually like took some stuff out like spicy jam and I, I didn't want any more size I just took I just had like the chips I didn't have like a drink because the drink is being more expensive because that's like pay extra so I don't know no point especially because we're for starters taking it home and also have my 
you know, bottle that I usually take anyway to gym. So I had that anyway with water. So I had that, and then so yeah, basically I was surprised because we didn't heat it up though. But I was surprised that like, the chips are actually in the box because it's quite small, but it seems quite a lot. But it's actually because I put it on the plate. It's actually not. It's still. But I was surprised because it's still lukewarm and still quite hot, quite soft. Melts in your mouth. Very. It's still quite. Very flavorful as well, and then the wrap itself because obviously it's quite big when you take it out the box. So when you cut it, it's like may not seem as big. When you, and I had it, it's actually still quite nice, really nice, flavorful, still quite a bit hot as well. Like the chicken itself was very juicy, tender, soft, melts in your mouth, very flavorful, very well done as well, and obviously that. Like, and the mayonnaise though, like, although that's the problem, like, I like mayonnaise and stuff, but it's too, way too much, too messy, but bearable, you know, the the lettuce itself is like, quite crunchy, but it's still, it, it wasn't like that whole, you know, bad kind of thing, it was quite fresh, and the bread itself, really, really soft, really nice, very chewy, quite amazing, flavourful, it all blended well together as well. The price though all together like I mean if I did it individually like just by self wouldn't be as expensive but obviously because there's a lot of us and four of us and we had order quite order quite a bit. So still the bill came out to be quite big quite big, you know, quite a lot but but definitely worth it, worth every penny. Definitely. Now for my overall rankings and Stuff like what does it worth it and stuff I would say yes it's definitely worth it definitely worth the trip but it would still be quite nice to like you know have it actually like you know here in Crawley for example like halal but unfortunately because they were going to make it but obviously you know, had those racist idiots who were like oh why is it halal or why are you making it halal or blah 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 you know, like, moaning those typical racist people but still even if you have it here still have the vegan one and you know still be quite good to have the halal one here but still worth it having their Croydon and stuff yeah I would definitely say overall yes it's worth it you know good food though the only problem is the only problem is still having to like go over there it's annoying again like I said I keep rambling on it's good to have it here in Crawley like have halal you know unfortunately it isn't and it saves still having to go all the way there very annoying uh, and also still have those annoying like drivers as well like but definitely the price are a bit steep but I'll definitely give it a 4.5 out of 10 and I'll definitely give it at least a 7 out of 10 I want to thank you guys for watching this video hit the like button subscribe if you haven't already and if you're new here definitely definitely subscribe and share this video if you're new here check out the front like I said, subscribe, check out the channel for our previous videos. I do try to make a lot of food videos, you know, and actually now I'm trying to build up my content. So please, please try to get that 1k. So please, like I said, subscribe. I feel like if you're putting the comments below as well, what videos you want to see, what I want to do, that I haven't done. Also, this is bear in mind as well, this is my first like uh, London based video as well. If you want to see more of these, put it in the comments as well, like what ones want me to do I'll see if I can do it and if I've actually you know been to it then review it and also if you guys have been to that Nando's uh, what, uh, what do you guys think and if you guys have actually been since like after lockdown as well like since now you're allowed to eat in but what do you guys think as well especially the eating experience as well and also do you also agree as well with like when I say if you could have like halal one like you know, here you know, or make the one that's in the one that's opposite McDonald's, like in here in Korea, like make that halal. Do you agree or disagree? Let me know in the comments or link below. And also, also put as well in the link as well, like not just about the website and everything, the usual stuff, but also put what I had as well and how much it all came to. And so, uh, hope you guys have a great week. I'll see you guys when actually the second. Uh, most voted uh, you know, review as it were 
thing to review because what it was it was like first was actually Nando's which is the most view, most like voted then second was actually the Kvavish and the third was that that um, Costco's pizza so so next week will be of Kvavish in at Slough so anyway hope you guys have a great week till then signing out bye